Hello and welcome to the All Flyers Group. You've got to hand it to the Russians. They do design and manufacture interesting aircraft. Aircraft such as the Sukhoi 57 Felon. This represents Russia's ambitious entry into the world of fifth generation stealth fighter aircraft. The Sukhoi 57 story began in the early 2000s as part of the Pak Far, which translates to prospective airborne complex of frontline aviation. I'd say that in Russian, but uh, I'd get laughed off the screen. This was Russia's answer to the American F-22 Raptor, aiming to replace the aging fleet of MiG-29s and Sukhoi 27s with a single dominant platform. The first prototype, designated T-51, made its maiden flight on January 29, 2010 in that place. This was a significant milestone, announcing Russia's capability to develop a stealth fighter. The aircraft entered a prolonged state testing phase, unlike the F-22, which was produced in significant numbers before its final operational capability, the Sukhoi 57's development was slower, hampered by funding issues, technical challenges, especially with its engine and stealth coatings, and the complexities of post-Soviet industrial capacity. The Russian Ministry of Defence announced the Sukhoi 57's initial operational capability in December 2020. A small number of pre-production aircraft were deployed to Syria in 2018 for real-world environmental testing. Serial production began slowly. The war in Ukraine has both highlighted its limited numbers and potentially accelerated the urgency to integrate it. As of late 2023, early 24, a handful of serial models have been delivered with plans to acquire 76 by 2028. It saw its first reported combat use in Ukraine in 2022, launching missiles from standoff ranges. The Sukhoi 57 was designed by Sukhoi, one of Russia's most prestigious aircraft design bureaus, now part of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. While a team of engineers was responsible, the project was led by Mikhail Pogosyan, who was the head of Sukhoi at the time the program was initiated. He was a driving force behind consolidating Russia's aerospace industry and pushing for the fifth generation fighter. The Sukhoi 57 is not a mere copy of Western designs. It incorporates unique philosophies seated in Russia's military doctrine. For stealth, it is shaped with planned form alignment where the leading edge and trailing edges of the wings and control surfaces are parallel to reduce radar cross-section from primary angles. Its stealth is considered less comprehensive than the F-22 or F-35. The front aspect is highly stealthy, but compromises are seen in the engine intakes and the use of rudders instead of all moving V-tails. It uses radar absorbent material to compensate. To maintain stealth, the primary weapons are carried internally in two main weapon bays. The primary bay can carry a mix of long-range air-to-air missiles like the R-77 and the revolutionary R-37M, as well as precision air-to-ground munitions. Near the wing roots, it has two small internal bays designed specifically for short-range R-74M Archer infrared dogfight missiles. This is a unique solution not seen on other fifth generation fighters. The Sukhoi has advanced avionics and sensors as expected, including a smart skin composed of multiple radars. It has an advanced infrared search and track system and a distributed aperture system for missile warning and situational awareness similar in concept to the F-35's EODAS. The Sukhoi is super maneuverable, a hallmark of Russian Sukhoi design philosophy. The thrust vectoring provided by engines providing three-dimensional thrust, allowing it to perform 
post-stall maneuvers like the Pugachev's Cobra, pointing its nose at targets while flying in a different direction. It features all moving vertical stabilizers and canards for exceptional high angle of attack control. The initial production aircraft used the Saturn AL41F1 engine, a heavily upgraded derivative of Sukhoi's 27 AL31F. The ultimate goal is to equip the Sukhoi 57 with the all new Isdalai 30 engine. This engine promises more thrust, better fuel efficiency and greater reliability, which is crucial for super cruise, supersonic flight without afterburner. NATO assigns code names to Russian and Chinese military equipment. The Sukhoi 57 received the name Felon, unlike some names which are seemingly random, like Fulcrum for the MiG-29, Felon carries a distinctly negative criminal connotation, likely reflecting Western political and military concerns about the aircraft's capabilities and intent. Heavily borrowing technology and design principles from the Sukhoi 57, Sukhoi unveiled a single engine, lighter, fifth generation fighter called Checkmate Sukhoi 75 in 2021. Its future is uncertain due to funding and sanctions. Russia has actively marketed an export version often called the Su-57E. Algeria and India were potential customers. India was initially a partner in the program but withdrew in 2018 over concerns about cost, delivery timelines and the level of stealth technology being offered. The Sukhoi 57 is promoted as an air superiority fighter with a strong multi-role capability able to engage air, ground and sea targets. The high cost per unit, estimated around 35 to 40 million each, means Russia cannot afford to build it in the same numbers as the US builds the F-35, leading to a high-low mix with four plus plus generation aircraft like the Sukhoi 35S. In summary, the Sukhoi 57 Felon is a formidable and technologically advanced aircraft that embodies Russia's desire to remain a top tier air power. While it faces challenges in the production scale and its stealth is a subject of debate, its combination of super maneuverability, powerful sensors and long range weaponry make it a significant threat and one of the most capable fighter jets in the world today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and consider supporting our channel.